So everyone, welcome to the Power Play with CJ. I just want to focus in on the Ilya Kovalchuk debacle in Russia as he will be scratched for the remainder of the KHL playoffs for uh, SKA St. Petersburg. And, uh, you know, his future in the K is up for, you know, up in the air, let's call it. Um, which, you, you look back to when he went over to, back, when he went back to the motherland in, uh, in 2013. I didn't like it for him. For this one reason, the Russian economy was going to hell in a handbasket, and the KHL, the dollar was suffering, all this other bullshit, because, you know, Russia's essentially glorified their world country. Um, so, nothing about it made sense. Again, not faulting him for going home, but, you know, the financial incentives weren't exactly what um, they're made out to be. And, you know, I think you look at it from the from Kovalchuk's perspective he should have been smarter I mean you know did you know was he upset having to play for the New Jersey Devils and yeah maybe he was but then don't sign a 15-year contract that's that's that right there for you Ilya. you know uh, again I, I don't think he the situation in New Jersey was what he thought it'd be because you know you think about it they go to the final what is second or third year in New Jersey, and then that's that's really it for him, and, uh, you know, it's just one of those situations where it didn't work out the way he wanted it to, so he, he you know, retired and then left, so, you know, I think with, with Colville Chuck, um, the more, and Hockey News said this, there's three scenarios, he'd have, to, he'd have to find all 30, if he terminates his deal in May, which I think at this point is a foregone conclusion, because he is not happy in St. Petersburg, um, he have all 30 teams sign off right away, which I don't, you know, I don't have the possibility of that. Um, sit out a year and then come back with New Jersey's permission, or come back after April 2018, where he'd be a free agent. So, again, the whole thing is just a bizarre situation. Do I think he's in the NHL next year? Uh, I'd say it's, I'd give it a 30% chance. I mean, I, I think there's going to be somewhere. He'll obviously play somewhere next year. But, you know, just, uh, it's such a, a bizarre situation, you know. But, yeah, he's a very, very talented hockey player. He, you know, 50 goal scorer, you know, he would have retired with 600 goals easily in the NHL. I think, you know, that's how much of a skilled player he is. Um, but, you know, we'll see if, uh, you know, if, if he's back as of, you know, next year or two. Again, I, I enjoyed watching him play. I got to see him play in person once when he was in Atlanta. And, uh, you know, again, just, he was an exciting talent. And hopefully, uh, you know, if he comes back to North America. I mean, the thing is, he's a little bit older now. I think he's 33. He'll be 33 April 15th. But if Yarmir Yager can do it, he's doing it at 44 after being in the KHL. And I know Yager is the exception to the rule. But, I mean, why can't Kovalchuk come back at, like, 35 and a couple good years, good 30-goal years, and, you know, help a decent team out? But we'll see how it all shakes up. Again, uh, he was such a really good player to watch. That I, I want to see what he... Uh, I want to see him back, you know, even if he's, again, some some team's second line left wing and, you know, guy helps out in the power play, but, you know, see, uh, see how it all shakes up. Anyway, that's all I got this episode of the power play with CJ. Stay tuned for more episodes throughout the season and beyond. Later, guys.